Hey guys, what's going on? Um, welcome to my another video and today we'll be doing a tutorial <clears throat> on installing the F1 custom ROM. It is the ICS Pure Stock Android 4.0.4. So this is a request by this is a request for many of you. So um, all right, so what you'll need to have is the uh, the cable, the USB cable. Now this is actually for AT&T and the international version of Android of um, Galaxy S2. So what you'll do, what you have to do is you just plug this in. Now before you do this, you actually need to have um, you have to make sure that your S2 is rooted. So don't try and install this without. Um, uh, rooting your phone because otherwise you'll end up breaking it. So, um, so, all right. As you can see, if you've got the international Galaxy S2, you'll have to download this. That's the that that's the file, the F1 Galaxy Nexus, and there's actually two files and the other one is G apps ICS and but anyway I'll, I'll be I'll be putting the link down below anyway so it's gonna be separate for AT&T and the international version All right, so <clears throat> alright let me just focus the camera again alright so what you have to do once you download it, all you have to do is to go to your uh, cell phone's uh, memory. So once you plugged it in, so you just you just make sure that it's debugged. Yeah, it's in debu debugging mode. So you know, just go to the uh, memory card or in internal. Which one is if which one you prefer? Alright, so alright. <clears throat> Since I'm ready, it's ready installed on mine. I'm not gonna, um, you know, go through pretty much all the steps. So because um, it's it's very very quick, ah, very easy. Alright, so once you've gone through that, because I've, I've actually installed it on my. Um, uh, SD cards. So, alright. So what you need to do is, once you download that, all you have to do is to copy it. So copy both files, and then just uh, copy it to download. So just copy it there. Alright. As you can see, hang on a sec. Alright, so pretty much just copy it. <clears throat> so once I, I, I cancelled it because, as I said, I've already got it on my phone. So once you copy that, um, now all you gotta do is pretty much go to the clockwork, clock, uh, clockwork mod recovery. So about that. Alright, so to go there, just have to press the home button the volume rocker so the volume up and then home so now you don't need this anymore you can plug you can unplug that alright so just go through the And there it is. Now you shouldn't have you know problem breaking your phone, you know, if it's already rooted because this is a pretty stable ROM. Alright, so what you have to do first is to um, wipe the data and factory reset. And then also once you've done that, you have to go to you have to um, wipe the cache and partition so just those two then 
Once you've done that, you actually have to go to install and zip from SD card. <clears throat> and once you've done that, once you click that, it'll actually bring you to this different um, choices. All right. So what you have to go to is this one here. So choose zip, and then you'll have all your um, folders in there. Now, um, what you need to do is to find the folder on where you put the file, <clears throat> so which is the um, download. So I just have to. Alright, so yeah, you just have to find it in the download. So, <clears throat> but with my one, I've, it wasn't actually put there. I've I've just um, transferred it to my um, SD card. So, um, sorry about my mistake in the beginning. So, as you can see, there it is. And all you gotta do is to um, install that by pressing the home button. And once you install the first one, so you have to install the first one, that first, that F1. Galaxy Nexus first, followed by the second one, which is the G Apps ICS. So those two, you have to install them too. Um, that, that's the same as the AT&T version. <clears throat> so pretty much once you install that, all you have to do now is to um, re reboot your phone, and then that's pretty much it. And you should you shouldn't have a problem with it. Um, so yeah, that's my. Um, quick tutorial of the of the uh, ICS F1 custom ROM with 4.8.4 um, in it so um, you know if, if you got any question about um, uh, installing it if or you know you can just uh, message me or go to my Facebook page and you know I'm, I'm always open to you guys so if you've got any problems or if, in case you don't quite understand the video, um, I'll fully explain to you or um, send you a message. So yeah, that's my video about it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.